Hello everybody and welcome to this video review of the MacBook Air 11 inch. This is the mid 2011 model. I'll go into the specs in a minute when we start her up. Um, let's start off with the hardware. As you know it's very very thin, solid aluminium, all one piece, obviously the top piece and the bottom piece. On the left we have the MagSafe power adapter and a USB 2.0 uh, USB port. Now they've upgraded those to USB 3 in the newer versions of the MacBook Air and a headphone jack. On the other side we have another USB 2 port and a Thunderbolt port. That's about it for the ports otherwise it's very slim. If I give you a size comparison um, here's, here's the iPhone 5 so quite literally only just thicker than the iPhone 5 I'll give you a size comparison to my Dell laptop. It's a 13 inch laptop, pretty chunky. You've seen it in a previous video. That is the difference. There is really massive amounts of difference in the size of these things. On the bottom, you've got four rubber feet, just to make it sit nicely on your desktop. If I open her up, it's just literally a magnetic clip, nothing special. You've got the standard MacBook keyboard and the trackpad can click anywhere on it clicks. On the standard MacBook Air keyboard you've got all the function keys along the top like brightness, uh, the multitasking features, the volume and the power button. Now this is completely shut down. So I'll show you it starting. So it's not on standby, this is the boot up time. No sound at all. A solid state hard drive. And there we are at the login screen. Hardly any time at all. Now I won't go mu too much into the usage of OS X. Uh, this has got Lion on it, I believe. Back to the Apple logo on here. So this is the mid-2011 MacBook. It's running a 1.8GHz Intel Core i7 with 4GB of RAM. Uh, it's got the Intel HD graphics in it. Uh, Lion 10.7. The display is an 11.7 inch 1366x768. Storage wise, it has a 128GB flash drive. Now that obviously makes things really snappy, especially with the boot up sequence you just saw. Memory wise it's got 4 gigabytes. Now in my general uses of this machine it's been really fast and um, obviously it's not up to your MacBook Pro standards when you're looking at video editing and that kind of thing but if you want a slim portable machine that you can just pull out and it's instantly available then this is really the one for you. If I go to shut it down or if I just sleep it I'll show you how quickly it wakes from the sleep. That's, it, that's asleep now that's it awake again. Obviously running OS X, it comes with all the standard OS X things, iLife, uh, Photo Booth, all these things, Finder, and uh, this one's got Word on it because it's a corporate edition. I'll give you a quick demo of the Mags Safe. The, the Mags Safe is quite different to the standard ones you get on the MacBooks, or the MacBook Pros should I say. Um, it's kind of a side-on clip attack. A side-on clip literally just like a magnetic thing you can go in either way around there's one obviously that blocks the USB port and which isn't great you can put it in the other way around though and there it is the power it just pulls out like a magnet just like that when it's on you'll see the Apple logo glows really funky feature you perhaps can't see it so well in this video, but the keys are backlit. The trackpad really is massive for a laptop of this size, 11 inch. The trackpad on this is bigger than my 13 inch Dell laptop. It's really excellent. Chiclet keys, everyone's used to them. Get a bit of getting used to typing on them, but once you do, the keyboard is, you know, it uses pretty much the full width of the laptop, giving you lots of room for your fingers. Some of the keys are a little bit cramped, like you see the enter key on the right there. It's a little bit 
on the small side if you're a bit of an ent to masher it's going to be difficult for you. The trackpad is really silky smooth and finger moves around with perfect ease. Um, one or two complaints about this laptop the edges at the front are slightly sharp so if you're typing for a long period of time your hands can scrape on them it's not really an issue though unless you're in an uh, awkward position. Um, another issue the screen doesn't actually open that far, that's as far as it goes, so that's about as far as it goes, it's restricted by the way the case is designed. So if you're lying down or something that might be a bit more difficult. If you have been, thank you for watching. Please subscribe up above for my future videos and please like and comment this video.